What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Up Church's diss track on Hosea. Okay, we already checked out the Adam Calhoun one. You guys said I need to check out this one. You're fired by Up Church. Okay, so I'm going to be checking out that today. I'm trying to I'm trying to to kind of give show all the artists love as as much as I can. Um, you know, so um, there's so much more up church tracks that I want to check out, but I'm going to be checking out every one or two now, um, per time, per, per, per session that I do. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. There's not going to be any more cuts in my videos when it comes on to, uh, it's just going to be strictly just a straight transition into, um, into the next scene for the reaction. So make sure you go, um, so make sure you check just, just. Just understand that this is a one shot, okay? That's why I'm fumbling my words and all of this other stuff because I'm trying so hard not to make mistakes during these one shots that I'm trying to do because I want to just record and upload to YouTube when it comes on to music reactions. That's what I want to do. I want to cut out the editing part because I usually, when I do like 10, 15 music reactions, right? I have to go into my editing program and edit all that stuff, the break in and all of that. And I was like, why do I do this? When I could just figure out a way to use OBS to just do a straight transition into what I'm doing and just not have a cut. So we're going to start physically applauding. Okay, that is what we're going to be doing. Physically applauding. There's not going to be no more applause. <laughs> so when I say this, give this man a round of applause to transition into the, into the, the, the reaction. Don't be just sitting there. Okay, put your phone down and clap. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys but anyways just understand that I'm trying to do a one shot record here so if you see me fumble my words or it takes me a while to say something don't crucify me in the comment section okay your boy has got a long had a long week let's do this man up church you're fired hosier this let's do this man holla transition <laughs> anyways let's do this man you're fired up church let's do this career 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 your career is a fixing to go right down the drain oh geez i'm so scared Ooh, I think he brought I back the v uh. <laughs> oh yeah turn that up church 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 this dude's gonna end my career damn son that's comedy Sounds like you ate a cactus and you're 80 years old. I listened to your last song and I thought I got a concussion. Cause the shit I was hearing just didn't translate to nothing. This dude sound like a microwave is starting to melt. My coffee. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You are not telling me that that was just Hosey or just not, because that was absolute trash. What was that? <laughs> Did he edit that in, in a way to make it sound bad? Because you guys have told me that was years trash, but I didn't expect that. That was trash. Sociopath are you bro? For like, real. Nobody looks at us as gods. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my motherfucking life. <laughs> you need to set the fuck down somewhere. Ah. Um, this new album I've got uh up church the You didn't neck. give me for shit. You paid me good and you know it. So I can fix your shit, track and make that shit mediocre. The only reason I did it was to be nice and do a favor. Now you're drunk as piss at shows, talking smack like a hater. When they Ooh. really ain't shit. Ain't shit, won't be shit. You can't sit with me and my friends, bitch. You run around on these microphones with your fake ass Tennessee accent. I got more fans in your hometown than you'll probably get in the next four years. Oh, no. No. Don't do it. Don't give him that Eminem bar. Don't give him the Eminem bar up, church. Come on, man. Come on, man. I remember that line from Killshot. From Eminem's Killshot when he was telling MGK that he got more fans in his hometown. <laughs> What is it, Cleveland? I think. Oh, come on. Don't do it like that, up church. Bitch, you run around on these microphones with your fake ass Tennessee accent. I got more fans in your hometown than you'll probably get in the next. 
next four years, you must be drunk trying to be for me. I just shotgun like four beers. And I'm still on the beat, so clean and crisp. Still hit the notes like Justin Bieber. Still go slim shady on the fucking track like a hockey mask and a meat cleaver. Funny thing is, I ain't mad either. I'm just having a damn good time. But the biggest song that you ever had was the one old church man featured on. And I mean, it's doing decent numbers, sitting on a cute little 2.9. Nothing compared to my rolling style. I got them songs that'll get too high. But you're gonna need a really tall ladder to even get up on to my level, bruh. You trying to catch up to me is like a fat guy on a treadmill. Bruh, huffing and puffing like you the big bad wolf. More like a fucking shit zoo owned by a chick with one tooth. Yeah, you stay raising your voice, but I stay raising the bar. You like church, can you lower it? I can't reach that far. victim is first. Go catch that Google check you got and buy your next album, I heard. Your talent level's lower than the fucking crust of the earth. So stop it, Lowe's and buy a shovel for your projects before. You can also buy a mop, yeah, a bucket for sure. Next year, I'll give you a job mopping my studio floors. But I'm gonna have Damn. to start at like 5.50 an hour. You gotta prove to me that you actually do have some sort of work ethic. After this Momo ass cracker hits it, he'll probably make a status. I swear to God, man, I'm gonna kick up church's ass. Son, I could touch you if I wanted. I'm worth too much cash. You wanna settle some faggot? Get your ass on the track. But chances are that I'm too busy. Yeah, I'm a grown ass man. I got bills, a fucking company sold out shows for my fans. And if this this was two years old, I'd tell you, pull up your pants. Cause you were such a gangster, right? That's what YouTube says. Yeah, you done woke up the bull and my horns are looking too sharp. You messing with the legend, don't get going fed to the sharks. Yeah, you might live in the sticks, but only live in a park. I mean nutrition from the trees, if you didn't catch that part, bruh. They couldn't fuck with me if they wanted to. They couldn't fuck with me if they wanted to. They couldn't fuck with me or come fill my boots. They couldn't fuck with me or come fill my boots, bitch. Now, man, I told you, leave me the fuck alone. I don't bother nobody, and you didn't listen. Now, do you have anything to say for yourself? Damn, you were right. <laughs> Damn, you were right. <laughs> All right, so there you go, guys. Up church, you're fired. He definitely brought, he 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 brought he he brought everything. He brought it out. He brought it out. Um, you know, you know, I love listening. I love listening to Up Church diss tracks, because he talk he talk about stuff you'll never expect somebody to say or hear of on a diss track. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole mop. <laughs> It's like we're gonna professionally learn how to mop floors, then I'll get you hired to come mop my studio floors. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he makes it his diss tracks are funny, but also the bars hit. You know what I'm saying? Like he hits you where it hurts. You know, and that's what a diss track is all is really at the core of it all. That's what it should aim to do. It's gotta be it's gotta be personal, but not too personal to the point where it goes overboard you know what i'm saying like it's just a sparring match with words that's all a diss track is you know what i'm saying it's a sparring match with words hey today i'm recording this on november 9th i don't even know why the hell i'm even saying anything about this because none of y'all probably don't care but anyways um <clears throat> i don't even know if i'm gonna be watching that fight tonight because that i um hopefully um, hopefully it's a good fight. Hope you guys are watching it. I mean, it's, it's basically YouTube royalty going at it. Logan Paul and KSI. So if you guys are at Staples Center, man, shout out to y'all. If y'all are watching this and you flew out there to go watch the match or whatever, man, shout out to y'all. Um, I've been rocking with KSI for a long time. Um, cool dude. Never met him in person, but he seemed like a cool dude. Um, and you know, he is not humble by nothing, <laughs> by no means possible. But anyways, um, yeah, man, Up Church is just one of those guys. I don't know why I just mentioned that. I know it just popped into my head just now that the match is actually tonight. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Up Church is a real one as always. And man, did those here piss off a lot of these guys, man. Because for two people to make a diss track on you... You know what I'm saying? For two people, two upstanding guys that stand for something that what I've come to know and their fans love them for it, man. Like for them to make a diss track on you and the two of them go so hard, you had you have to be the one of the most despicable human beings on earth for people to go in this much on you. You know what I'm saying? Like 
for more than one. You, you know, you're just out here picking fights. Let's just put it like that. But anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. Sorry, I didn't mean to mention the fighting there, but it popped into my head. And I felt like I needed to mention that because I think I just looked at the date and I was like, oh, crap, tonight's the fight. But anyways, thank you guys so much. Shout out to Upchurch once again, man. Wreck for life. Yeah, you guys already know. Um, so thank you guys so much, Creek Squad. We out.